Today, I'm gonna to build my own no-code AI assistant. It's gonna be super easy, let me show you. The tool I'm gonna to use to do that is called VoiceFlow. It's a super powerful AI assistant generator. You can build other things like chatbots, you can build stuff for stuff like Google Home. It's got a lot of different things, but one of the new tools is AI assistants powered by ChatGPT. Just go into the little builder here. I'm gonna click create assistant. I wanna build an AI assistant. We'll call it Bubble Buddy, and you'll see why in a second. I'm gonna build AI assistant, continue. Let's look at the channel. It's going to be web chat so people can access it anywhere. It's going to be English. Let's go. Now it starts me off with this builder and it's already powered and you can ask ChatGPT questions within it. But the big thing is the knowledge base over here on the left. And the knowledge base is insane. I can upload data sources from articles or text or PDFs or docs. I can upload a bunch of data sources and it will train the AI assistant on those data sources. I want to use this assistant to make my life a little bit easier. And one of the biggest things that people ask me questions about on messages in TikTok, on uh, in Instagram, just generally on social media, is how to build certain things with no code. And usually all I do is I link them to a Bubble article because Bubble is a really powerful no code tool and they have a bunch of exact tutorials on how to build certain products. So think something like an Instagram clone, something like a Zendesk clone. They have this giant page of learn how to build any web app without a single line of code. And they have a bunch of these articles all on different kinds of structures, like how to build a Discord clone, how to build a LinkedIn clone, all sorts of different stuff like this. And usually half of what I do when I'm answering people on, on Instagram is I just link them to one of these articles because what they want to build is very similar to one of these uh, templates. So I clicked add a data source and then I pulled in 25 of the most relevant uh, URLs. You can only do 25 at a time. I'm going to add URLs and then we're just going to let that populate for a little bit. Wow. Okay. Like right after I turned off that last section of the video, it finished. It took like literally two seconds to upload every single URL. Cool. Back in the designer section, we can go and we can actually run it and test it right in the little system. So it's going to prompt us. It's going to give us a little intro on for someone random language, which is cute. We can ask it anything from the custom knowledge base. Let's ask it a question about building an Instagram clone. I'm asking it something pretty nitty gritty. What data type should I use when building an Instagram clone? Let's see what it comes up with. Da -da -da. And so this train on Bubble, it's going to recommend the structure of Bubble, but I could add a bunch of other no-code tools to this, and I probably will before I publish it. What do you got for me, voice flow? Oh boy, check that out. Data type user, fields, email, name, profile picture, posts made, data type post. Oh man, it goes into really, really nitty gritty detail here. And the cool thing is, um, if we go back to the section over here, we can preview it up here. And when we ask questions, it'll actually link us to pieces of the articles where it got that information from. I clicked publish and then I can click embed widget and it just gives me embed code that I can put anywhere. I'm gonna train it up with a little bit more information and then put it in my link in bio.